You've seen that to lose weight without aggressing your famine reaction, you need to eat enough. On the other hand, it's important not to eat too much, otherwise your fat break won't, to be, won't be able to do its job of keeping the weight off for you. While this may sound like a really delicate balance, it really boils down to one simple thing. Eating according to your physical needs. What this means is to eat when you feel physically hungry and only when you feel physically hungry. Eat what you really feel like eating and keep eating until you feel truly satisfied. Now, I can see some skeptical looks. I know this sounds like a big ask, but really we are biologically programmed to eat according to our physical needs. And as babies and young children, you were an expert at it. I'm going to show you now a series of three short film clips that will remind you how to eat according to your physical needs. The first film is of a hungry three-month-old baby. If you've been dieting for a lot of years, or if you've been eating too much for a while, and you've, you may well have forgotten what physical hunger feels like. This is what it feels like. When you feel like this, you need to eat something. That's the face of hunger. Of course, part of the reason this baby was crying may have been because his mummy was doing experiments on him. <laughs> the next film is of the same baby when he's almost had enough to eat, but not quite. It's like he's saying, right, I've had um, a palm-sized piece of meat, I've had half a cup of rice, I've had a whole cup of steamed vegetables and a teaspoon of margarine so I must be feeling satisfied. Sometimes your body is telling you the opposite. Take a look at the baby's body language and it will help to remind you what it feels like when you're not quite satisfied. If you feel like this it, need, it means you need to eat some more. A lot of people who are trying to lose weight are perpetually in that irritable, hungry, I haven't had enough to eat state. If you find yourself feeling irritable and not feeling your proper self after eating, it simply means that you need to eat some more. Try finishing your meal with something that makes you feel genuinely satisfied and you'll notice what a huge difference it has on your moods and on your ability to lose weight. Now let's look at the baby when he's really had enough to eat. This is the way you need to feel after every meal and snack you have because when you eat until you feel truly satisfied, you can lose weight and keep it off in the most effective way. Mm.
Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Remember how contented and great you feel when you've genuinely had enough to eat? When you eat that way, when you eat until you've, you feel fantastic, you just look at the world and you smile for no reason, it just makes it so much easier to live and do it, try it, and you will literally by, be astounded at how much easier it is to keep the weight off and lose it in the first place.